Uh, first of all, we need to sanitize the album name and description. We need to ensure we protect as much as possible against um, SQL injection. What we also need to ensure we try and protect against is um, XSS attacks. And uh, in this case, we're going to be using uh, HTML entities function. So let's go ahead and uh, create a new variable called album name. That's going to be equal to MySQL real escape string. And inside that, we're going to put album name. Okay. We can copy and paste this and change that to description and also this to description as well. The only addition, like I've just mentioned, we need to try and prevent against XSS attacks. We use HTML entities function. I won't talk too much about what this actually does, but essentially it converts um, any uh, characters that look like HTML output to their literal characters. So they're displayed rather than actually interpreted by the browser. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is uh, create the query that's actually going to insert this into our database. So let's go ahead to our database and have a look, our database table, albums. Now I've got two pieces of data in here already, so I'm just going to delete them because they were um, from um, earlier. Delete them. And um, let's go ahead and look at what we need to insert. The first one is album ID, so we just uh, leave this blank and that will auto generate for us. We've also then got user ID, which we can take from our session, so we can insert that as a session. The timestamp, which is uh, essentially just uh, a Unix timestamp function in uh, MySQL. Then the name and description, which we already have, so that's pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and construct the query. We need to say MySQL query, and that's insert into, and the table is albums. And the values, I believe we have one, two, three, four, five. Let's break that up a bit. First one is the ID. The second one is the user ID, so we can escape out and just echo dollar underscore session user ID. Uh, the next one is, I believe, let's go ahead and look at the timestamp. So this, uh, we can get rid of this and just say Unix underscore timestamp, and that will just generate a timestamp and put that into the field. We don't contain this uh, inside um, inside of our single quotation marks because then this will be taken as a literal value. This is a MySQL function, so we need to include it without uh, the single quotation marks. The next is the album name, which is straightforward. We just pop that in there. And the same with the album description. Okay, So that uh, query alone will create our album for us. However, the way we've set this up is we've created it to make directories where we store our images. So let's just go ahead and take a look at our directory structure again. Inside uploads, we have um, a blank area, and that's just going to contain um, a list of directories or a number of directories that correspond to the album ID. So, for example, um, if we go over to here, um, album ID, for example, might equal 50. When we create the album, this will create a folder called 50, and inside thumbs, it will also create a folder called 50. Okay, so we'll have two folders. Then when we go to upload an image, the images will be put inside of this here. And that, that way we know that the images inside 50 correspond to a specific album. And the same with the thumbs as well. Um, but we're going to be using um, the mkdir function in PHP to create these directories for us. So uh, underneath the MySQL query, we actually want this to uh, go ahead and make the directories. So mkdir, this is the function name. Um, we then want to create um, it in this location, which we'll do in just a moment. But we also want to uh, insert file permissions as well, folder permissions. And we're going to say 0744. You can go ahead and look this up online exactly what these permissions mean. But essentially, this means this 7 means access uh, for our server, I guess, and 44 mean. Uh, just read-only permissions for uh, normal users. So where are we going to create this album? We need to create it in uploads forward slash something. Remember we have this uh, uploads folder here and inside we need to create a folder here and then another folder inside of thumbs. So um, how do we go ahead and actually get the album ID? 
Well, if you remember um, previously when we were registering a user, we used the MySQL insert ID function. And this took the last inserted ID from the last query performed. So what we can actually do is we can go ahead and concatenate on MySQL insert ID. And um, then after this, uh, oh no, that's, that's all we need because that's just going to represent the, um, the folder uh, value, so the folder name. We then need to create the same thing but inside of thumbs. So essentially we could just copy this down, paste it there and then choose thumbs forward slash. So this is going to create, let's say when we insert this, the next, um, the next uh, album ID is 50. This will create a folder in uploads 50. So we'll have a folder with the value 50 or the name 50. It will also create a folder in uploads, thumbs, 50, okay? And uh, that will create the two directories which we can then upload images to. So it makes it a lot easier to go ahead and delete images and delete, uh, delete the albums entirely. So let's go ahead and test this out. We've already declared uh, or called the function inside createAlbum.php and we've supplied the name and the description. That data is then sanitized here and we uh, try and protect against XSS as much as possible. We then insert it into the database, which is important for retrieving the uh, database value. Then we create the folders where the images are gonna go inside of the album. So as well as checking inside of our database, we can also go ahead and check inside of uploads to see if the album uh, folder has been created. So let's go ahead and uh, come over here and create this. So let's just refresh the page. Let's create an album called Holiday and Just Some Holiday Photos. Click on Create. Okay, albums.php is not found. Remember, we locate the user to albums.php. This will eventually just display a list of albums. We haven't got to this stage yet. However, um, we will be doing that in the uh, next stage of the development. So let's go ahead into our database and click Browse, and we'll see that we've inserted um, a row. And uh, the album ID is 55, so we can check the folder name in just a moment. The user ID is 2. Remember, the uh, user that, I, uh, that my username corresponds to is 2. Uh, the timestamp, the name, and the description. So everything's been inserted correctly, and now what we can do is go ahead and open up um, this uh, file browser, Go over to upload and you can see a folder has been created called 55 and in thumbs a folder has been created uh, 55 as well. So the images that uh, go into this album will be located in here and the thumbnails that correspond to them images will be located in here. So that's essentially how we uh, create the user album. However, the point of this is that only logged in users can actually create albums. So if we go over to createAlbum.php, there's nothing to stop anyone that isn't logged in actually creating an album. So what we want to do is we want to include a check just between here, as we have on some of the other pages, that checks if the user is logged in. Currently, if I come over to the website, let's uh, go back, and I click log out, and I'm logged out, we can go ahead and we can actually go to createalbum.php and we're able to create an album even if we're logged out. So we need to correct this and we need to create an if statement if not logged in then we need to relocate the user and then we need to exit. So in here we want to locate them to just say index.php Let's go over here and let's refresh this page and you can see that we're automatically redirected to index.php uh, every, every time we try to access createalbum.php. So we've protected against users that aren't logged in uh, going to upload or rather create albums.